geometric sequence. What is a geometric sequence? In a geometric sequence, the ratio between consecutive terms is constant. This ratio is called the common ratio. Unlike in an arithmetic sequence, the difference between consecutive terms varies. We look for multiplication to identify geometric sequences. Example, determine if the sequence is geometric. If so, identify the common ratio. In this case, we can see that 1, negative 6, 36, and negative 216 have a common ratio where it's going up by a factor of negative 6. Yes, common ratio is negative 6. So, yes, this is a geometric sequence. The next one, it's 2, 4, 6, 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, not 6, so no. It is not a common ratio. Are there formulas for geometric sequences? Yes, there are indeed formulas for geometric sequences. Important formulas include the recursive and the explicit. You can look at the key down here to explain what everything means. A n is an n sequence in the n term in the sequence. A one is the first term. N is a first. N is a number of the term. R is the common ratio. How do you do it? How exactly does it work? How do you do it? Example, write the recursive formula for each sequence. First term, A equals 1, common ratio is 1 third. The recursive rule is A n equals A n minus 1 times R. So here it is, it gives you, you put in the common ratio first. And next, find the first five terms. Because uh, there is no A1, it's just AN, you can plug in uh, any term you want to find um, the first five terms, say. But in this case, since A1 is the first term, 7, first five terms would be A1, 7, 7, 3rd, 7, 9, 7, 27, and 7, 81. Example, write the explicit formula for each sequence. In this case, it will be the same, except there is a first term. And there it is. And the first five terms are the exact same for the last slide. Example, a recursive geometric sequence problem. Find the five, fifth and sixth term in the sequence. Start with the recursive sequence formula. So it's asking for a recursive. A n equals A n minus 1 times R. The common ratio is 3. Plug in known values. And simplify. We get that. 5th and 6th terms. 5th term would be 891. 6th term would be 2673. Explicit geometric sequence problem. Find the 19th term in the sequence. 11, 33, 99, 217. In this case, it will be the same. Start with the formula, find the common ratio, plug in known values, and simplify. And bam, we have it. What's, What's another, another example? example? Let's try one together. Find the nth term in the sequence. This, this you would do the exact same thing as you did in the last two slides. Start with the explicit formula or recursive you know, Either one works, but in this case, we're using explicit. Find the common ratio between the values. Plug in known values and simplify. We get negative 10 million. Oh, it makes a lot more sense now.